Hello everyone, Helen here and welcome to my channel. Today I will be decorating my Hobonichi A6 Health and Wellness Journal. I am using a Shine Sticker Studio subscription kit for February and I did already use some of it, um, but I wanted to use the rest of it for my first week of March. I brought in date um, hearts from Shine Sticker and this cute little frog washi cutter came with the subscription kit. I brought in this washi tape. It's by Hubman and Chub Girl. I thought it would go nicely with the kit. Um, it has like lily pads and um, I'm going to find a way to use that in my uh, in my spreads. Brought in a couple of the Tombow and um, Zig Dots. A pen from the Angel Shop. It has avocados in it. And here I'm going to show you uh, how I decorated my planner. I printed the digital paper from Shine Sticker Studio and I really love how it turned out. I printed it on Hammer Mill. I believe it's a 35 pound um, paper. It's very smooth, so I highly recommend it. Um, so here I just uh, measured, well, eyeballed it and uh, marked it with my pen to trim the washi tape so that it'll uh, fit nicely on the right side of my spread. Um, I try to uh, use at least one, one of the washi tape designs from the kit. I didn't see a A6 journaling kit that um, Shine Sticker Studio usually comes out with for the frogs. I was kind of a little bummed, but um, I tried to make what I have work uh, with um, my journal. So here, I, with the leftover washi, I'm uh, trimming it to cover up the dates on the top. And then I wanted to use the days of the week that came with the sticker kit. Um, I wanted to do a separate video of a flip through of my Hobonichi Weeks and A6. Let me know if that is something that you're interested in seeing. Um, and if I get enough responses, then I will more than likely record it either this week or next week. Uh, I also was... Uh, wondering if you guys want to see a video of my sticker collection. So if you do, let me know. I'll probably just combine those two to make it one whole video um, because I have been accumulating a lot of um, stickers that I've been purchasing these past couple months. Um, also, if you're new to my channel, uh, I started my planning journey around December last year. So I don't have a lot of uh, experience in decorating planners, but I did watch enough videos to get a feel for how I should decorate my planner. And I think I got a good uh, sense of how I want my, my planner spreads to look. Um, as you can see, I'm like on my past videos, if you binge watch it or whatever, you'll notice that I like to do my lists on the right side of my A6. Um, I don't know, maybe my way of putting down stickers is unconventional, but you know, that's the beauty, I think, of uh, having a creative uh, journal or planner where you can just make it the way you want, how how it's pleasing to your eye and that's one thing I love about this hobby is that you can make it the way you want and decorate it the way you want um so yeah so I hope you guys had a wonderful week last week last week for me was a little difficult because you know we all have those weeks last week for me was just blah <laughs> um anxiety galore but we're not going to go there because I just want good vibes but you know if you have anxiety you know if you you're having one of those weeks you are not alone I am one of those people I'm usually very cheerful very um you know just happy-go-lucky but you know there's just some days when I'm just like I don't want to do anything and I'm just feeling down and low but on the good side, I try to keep a positive mood. 
I, um, you know, I just try to make the best of my day by trying to make myself feel accomplished each day. Like, let's say I cooked that day or I, uh, cleaned and stuff like that, just so I would feel like I did something, um, positive in my opinion. <laughs> uh, I have been reading this book. Um, some of you may or may not know it. It's called Crescent City. I've seen so many, uh, I guess, advertisement about it that I decided, okay, let me give it a try. And I read it, um, finished it in about a week. And, you know, at first I was like, I don't want to read this. This is boring because it was just a lot of history, you know, in the beginning. And plus it's book one. So, so I, I try to give it the benefit of the doubt. And, and I'm glad I continued on reading because nothing could have prepared me for what would happen in the end. And without getting too much into it, I just want to say I enjoyed the book thoroughly. And if you're looking for a great book, Crescent City House of Earth and Blood is a great book. I'm going to go ahead and pick up the, uh, the other two books for, for the series and hopefully I'll read that next week. So I'm starting a new book today. Not sure which one. I have two choices. I forget what they're called. I think I think it's The Fourth Wing. Is it the, called The Fourth Wing? I, I don't know. Don't quote me on it. And then the other one is an Alcrate subscription book. I don't know what it's called. But anyway. Okay, so I have these to-dos. These are by Shine Sticker Studio as well. I dedicated this one sticker book right here that you see uh, for my Shine Sticker Studio book. I mean, stickers. Uh, this sticker book is by Shine Sticker Studio. I'm sorry if I sound so repetitive, but um, I decided I wanted to de dedicate that sticker book just for them because they are like my top let's just say top five um, sticker shops that I adore. Um, the other one is Marshmallow Studio. The other three I still have slots for, but I just want to say top five. But right now, top two is like Shine and Marshmallow Studio. Uh, so I have room for three more top top tiers um i can't decide i i've purchased from different shops but but those two that i mentioned um earlier they're oh wait paper shires up there too so though they're top three right now top three so let me know in the comment section below what your top three or top five sticker shops that you like i am very curious um oh also if janet you're watching this you guys my friend janet she's converted into planning we chat and text about sticker shops i sent her um names of sticker shops that i've checked out so we're very addicted to <laughs> looking at different sticker shops on etsy and she's sending me links to sticker shops i haven't even um discovered so it's kind of it's kind of fun and, you know, exchanging different um, shops. And now I get to uh, talk to someone and craft with someone who's very much into planning in the hobo weeks. That's where she's planning right now. And yeah. Okay. So here I'm uh, using the Hubman and Chub Girl uh, washi tape and for some reason when I was using my washi cutter it wasn't really cutting it smooth at the end like I wanted it to uh, but it doesn't really bother me you know if it looks like that because to me it just looks rustic <laughs> I guess the word for it um, also this the feeling froggy one that's actually part of the washi tape that came with the kit and what I did is I just uh, trimmed it and to make it look like it's a sentiment and I thought it looked really good and so I just put that on top and then these snails they're also part of the washi uh, tape from the sticker kit and then I just cut five snails because to me five or odd numbers look nice um, just more pleasing to my eye. So I kind of use that as a divide, divider between my to-do list and 
the bottom part where I will put my numbers for my blood pressure and blood sugar. And I'm also doing something or adding something that I've done before that I wanted to add this week again because I'm changing it up because sometimes I'm just like you know I think I want to add this to my planner and it's a gratitude spot uh, because I bought these um, stickers they're actually matte this time because they're uh, boxes quarter boxes and half boxes I guess is what you would call them and I bought them in matte rather than vinyl because I want to be able to write on it with my regular pen so you'll see see that um, a little bit later on but I really think like these snails are the perfect touch to divide the top and bottom up and then here I'm gonna take uh, the uh, deco sticker sheet and I'm just going to place them where I feel like you know they're gonna look good and here I'm placing the uh, boxes uh, at the bottom right because that's where I want to write my gratitude and again they are matte um, I did try to remove one of the frogs because I was trying to fit something above it and you'll see that a little bit later on too but I wasn't able to remove it because it's matte <laughs> and I guess that's why I like vinyl stickers a lot more than I do matte stickers because of the ease of removing them uh, so here's another one of the cute uh Luna's in their frog suits and the penguin. I don't know the name of the penguin, so I apologize for that. And another frog. I hope the frog becomes a regular at Shine Sticker Studio. Every time I post something about uh, these stickers or my spreads, I'm always saying, I hope the frogs become a regular, you know, because they are just so cute. I, I love them. And then here I'm just um, scattering some of the flowers. And then now it's time for me to write my to do's, which are AM meds and PM meds. And then I'm going to put track food. I usually put insulin under there, but my insulin is actually on back order. It's been on back order for almost two weeks. Um, I'm not really sure what is going on if there's a shortage, but I see my endocrinologist this Friday. Um, I've been keeping a close uh, eye and tracking my blood sugar and it has been normal. So thank goodness for that. Um, so I'm not really like super worried about it if my sugars are, are in normal uh, levels. So yeah, so I'm going to put track food there. And then also, I don't know if you guys remember, and sorry if you're new, so I'm just going to assume you guys don't remember, but my husband, I bought my husband a Hobonichi Weeks so he can keep track of his blood pressure and um, blood sugar. And so I bought these stickers right here, the one that you see me putting down. Those are from an Etsy shop called Jubilo. And I'll try to link everything that I'm using in this video um, in the description down below. Now, these ones right here is from an Etsy shop <laughs> called Sticker Packed. Um, but anyway, I bought my husband a Hobonichi Weeks. I decorated it for him. Not like decorate it the way I do, but like I actually put these boxes the blood sugar and the blood pressure ones so he can fill them in but and I filled I mean I filled it to maybe like the first three or four months of the year so January through April and he only filled it out like maybe two times and he never kept up with it so I have all these stickers that are just in his uh Hobonichi Weeks planner that's just being wasted. So you know what I did, you guys? I said, are you going to use your um, Hobo Hobonichi Weeks? And he's like, yeah. I was like, but you're not filling it out. It's just wasting there. And like, you know, anyways, so I just took matters into my own hands. I said, you're not using it. It's mine. <laughs> so I carefully took off all of those um blood pressure and blood sugar stickers thankfully i think they are removable matte 
and and I put them on my uh, release paper that you see there and um, I was so happy I was able to able to salvage it I was able to salvage the steps as well uh, so the only thing I was not able to uh, salvage is the words that you see there the blood sugar and blood pressure but but I'm okay with that you know because I have plenty of them and they are very reasonably priced um the shop sticker pack um the font that you see there is the one that I chose but she has or she or he has four different fonts you can choose from and um like I said before uh, they are very reasonably priced. Um, I believe they are located in Florida. If if I'm incorrect about the state, I'm going to say, let's just say U.S. They are in the U.S. And uh, shipping is is pretty fast. I got, I got mine within probably a week. Um, depending if like, if it's like a sale or whatever, if there's a sale going on, of course, it's going to take much longer than that. And I really don't mind waiting as long as I have like tracking or like a time frame, like I'll be content. But yeah, uh, let's see what else. Hmm. I can't. Oh, this one right here. I took it off and then I covered the BP. I don't mind covering the left side of the box um, because I already uh, put blood pressure on the top of it and then um, loving the gratitude sticker and I used one of the I guess like a watercolor wash and um, just used it to put my gratitude sticker on there and then um, later on you'll see me use a highlighter um, where I will just highlight every other line but you'll see that in a little bit and I'll put it there as well um, so we're going to finish off this page right here. And you may have noticed that, um, some of the blood pressure stickers didn't fit at the bottom of the blood sugar. And I honestly don't mind putting it on the left side as long as it all fits. Um, I'll just have to just, I guess, <laughs> narrow down how much I have to say for that day. And then, um, finishing it off with more flower stickers um, because I, I like to try to use up um, a lot of what I can from a sticker kit. I don't like wasting stickers and I'm sure there are many of you who feel the same way because um, if I don't have enough of, of the kit, then I know I'm not going to use it. Um, so yeah. Um, I also used part of this kit to decorate my monthlies. Oh, and I also forgot. So the Hobonichi weeks that I took back from my husband, I'm actually using that as like um, a memory planning, I uh, guess, uh, thing where it's like my highlights of the week. And then um, I'm trying to only use Shine Sticker Studio kits in there, but I'm pretty much running out of uh, kits because... Um, because of the season that I'm on right now, which is spring and I don't have very many spring kits from Shine Sticker Studio. So I might have to use or buy duplicates that I've used um, that are neutral kind of like planning ones, if you know what I mean. But yeah, so uh, we're going to go ahead and highlight the very last one. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoy making these videos for you guys. Um, it's so much fun. And I absolutely love reading all of your comments. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me. And I will see you on my next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.